Hello, today we are going to discuss the modified Ashworth scale. The MAS measures spasticity through passive range of motion. It can be used for patients with a wide variety of diagnoses. For example, it can be used for children with cerebral palsy, as well as patients who have had a stroke, a spinal injury, a brain injury, or an amputation. And this is just to name a few examples. The amount of time it takes to complete this test is largely dependent on the number of joints or muscles that needed testing. For this assessment, you will need a mat table or whatever the patient is going to be lying on, as well as a paper and pen to record your results. We will now discuss specifically how to perform this assessment. Thank you. So we'll demonstrate the modified Ashworth scale to assess for the amount of tone when moving through passive range of motion in a joint over um, the time period of one second. So first on our scale, we'll demonstrate what a zero would look like. So here we have the arm all the way in this elbow flexion. And then as we move into extension, there's no resistance here and that would be a zero. Again, as we repeat that, let's show a one this time. So this time there will be um, resistance through less than half of this range of motion. But we still get through that whole range. Now for a one plus, there's resistance through more than half of this range of motion. And then for a two, we have an increased amount of tone throughout this range of motion. For a three, there is a considerable amount of tone present as we move through this range of motion. And then for a four, we have an amount of rigidity and unable to reach the end range of motion here.